My previous experience with Ulefon brand was a positive in general. Today we have visit from the future. It is not cliché, it is a Ulefon future. How does it feel when you hold future in the hand for the first time? Well, it is not anything futuristic. It resembles a lot how iPhone 6 and 6s feels. And this is a positive thing, definitely. I will position Ulefon Future as high-end performer in mid-range segment. It features a MediaTek Helio P10, also known as MTK6755, which is a true octa-core processor, with each core working at 2 GHz. Dedicated graphic chip is a Mali T860, 4 GB of RAM sounds promising, with 32 GB of internal storage. Ulefon Power Telephone is working without any problem. In-call speaker is great, offering clear sound which is also loud enough. People also reported that they can hear me very well. Front-facing camera is 5 megapixels and its performance is good. Not the best I seen but pictures got enough of details. Colors are usually fine but sometimes colors can be a bit washed out, which can be easily fixed in post-production. Always good to have is notification light, and for device which came from the future, I'm glad that it has it. At the bottom there is not too much to see, as device use on-screen buttons, which are standardly good, looking and performing. Not too much to say about it. Focusing on screen will open many interesting things to be told. First of all, it is a 1080p unit, screen is solid, with excellent colors and viewing angles. Only the brightness could be a bit higher, this is noticeable outdoors, but hey, you still can see everything with naked eye. I will stop here and speak a bit about so-called curved screen. To break your hopes, this is a fake thing. Glass is curved, but what they did it is that actual screen bezels are ultra thin, nearly not existent, with the glass going on top of it with curved edges creating illusion of complete curved screen. And you know what, it looks cool. It is not bad, but it is a fake. Overall, this is a subjective thing, but I guarantee you that people who aren't in tech will think that this is a real curved screen. Ulefon Future has unibody housing. Design resembles a lot to iPhones. Antenna lines are visible and they can be really destructive. But again, some will like, others will hate, it is a totally subjective thing. At the bottom we have two grills with holdout design. Left one is microphone, right one is speakerphone, which is really loud. Not stereo, but on maximum levels there is no distortion at all. Between them is a USB Type-C port for charging and synchronization. At the left side we have a SIM tray slot, which accepts micro and nano SIM card. Instead of nano, you can use a microSD to expand those 32GB of internal storage. Right side is filled with control buttons, which are made of metal and feel great. Features which are different than on other smartphones is fingerprint sensor, which is placed just under power on-off button at right side. I want to focus on its performance. When I first got the device, I was really disappointed. Sensor didn't perform as I expected. Then I started to do a research and try to figure it out what is the problem. Trick is that when you are adding fingers for the first time you need to cover as much possible area of your finger. In that way you will ensure that scan will be successful. At top we see 3.5mm audio output. You even get pin to protect port when headphones are not used. Audio quality is loud and clear and I personally don't have complaints about it. Backside looks and feels really good. Metal provides excellent feel and touch. Top part is filled with antenna lines and 16 megapixel Samsung manufactured sensor camera combined with dual tone LED flash. This is interesting part. Camera provided crisp images with good color representation. But I need to admit that in some situations, let's say cloudy day, 
Colors and white balance will go off a bit, so pictures will look dead and not inspiring. This can be fixed in post-process by editing saturation a bit. Video quality is surprisingly good, but it could be a little bit better with MP4 container and higher bitrate. Then it would be a pure win. Still photo and video samples are available for download, at links down below. Android 6 is performing amazingly well on Ulephone Future. It is blazingly fast and using it you get that feel of pleasure. Enjoy! MediaTek Helio P10 with average of 2.5GB of free RAM with usual daily use applications in background is ensuring that everything you throw in will start and perform fast and stable. When I got the device, over-the-air update was available, which is good to know that they work as intended and that in future there will be more if there is something to fix. Benchmark results are something that you can expect from this chipset. In short, you won't be cut down for performance with Ulefon Future. Games perform really well, everything you throw in will have fluid frame rate. Even most demanding or better to say least optimized games will work decent. I find Ulefon Future a good option for those who love to play games. Battery life is interesting subject, as device pack 3000 mAh battery and in my test capacity is confirmed as real. Geekbench battery test yielded mediocre result of 7 hours. But in real life usage I can say that battery life is solid. Not the best, but solid. You will get a full day of heavy usage, OS is well optimized and that guarantees good battery life overall. To summarize things with Ulefon Future, from the start it was promising device, it is well built with all around good hardware, and that is just half of the story. Second part is implementation of that hardware. We have a really good performance in every task you throw at Ulefon Future. Yes, fingerprint sensor needs to get some final polish, but I don't doubt that there will be a update soon. Screen with nearly non-existent bezels is really nice touch, looking great and even creating an illusion of curved screen. When we finalize all this, Ulefon Future represents something a bit different. And if you like how all this looks and works, then you have one of the kind option to pick. And that is a Ulefon Future. Tiny bit of innovation from China in good way. Both Ulefon Future from GearBest Links are down below so you can check it out. Also, if you find this review helpful, give a finger up, subscribe and until next time, see ya guys!